What's up, everybody? Welcome to the My RC Life YouTube channel, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! There goes mom and dad taking off and going side by side riding up to the UP for a week. I'm going to be over here watching the house for him. I don't know, that twin turbo V6 haul the enclosed trailer with the side by side in it good enough? I guess we'll know when he gets back. I'm sure it will. It hauls pretty good. Probably setting the trailer brakes, adjusting the settings. What do you think, Trix? We're going to stay over here and visit for a week with your little brother, mister? Bye-bye, Mom and Dad. Now that they're gone, I have a top secret mission I'm going to do. This carpet, you can see like a little stain right there a little there's a couple little stains i don't know how, how well they show up on camera uh with the light on you can probably see them better but i am going to move all of this furniture out of the room we're gonna shampoo mom's carpet when she's gone it's kind of hard to do shampooing when dad's here because he whines and complains and it's just easier to do it when dad's gone. <laughs> so I'm going to do it when they're both gone. So it's going to be a nice little surprise uh, for them when they get back. Good morning, everybody. I'm Traxxas Mike coming to you today from my mom and dad's house in Reed City, Michigan. They're out riding their side-by-sides up in the UP. I'm gonna get over there into the Wisconsin area, ride through the UP out into Wisconsin and do a whole week-long tour with a bunch of their friends. So while they're gone, I am going to tear apart this living room and shampoo the carpets. We got this brand new uh, Power Scrub Elite by Hoover. We're going to go ahead and get this place all shampooed up. So the first thing we got to do is get all this stuff out of the room. So let's get after it. so we got the room all cleared out except for the entertainment center now the entertainment center sits in the corner tied up against the wall um, the dogs can't get back there and stuff and that's the biggest reason why we're cleaning this carpet um, you know the dogs puking and uh, Mr. had had a couple accidents on here and like spilled pop, things like of that nature. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal if we leave this or move it out of the room. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to clean everything, shampoo everything, but this is probably just a little bit too much for me to move on my own. So now we're going to vacuum the whole floor. You need to vacuum first, obviously, and then we will... Start shampooing. I have since just turned on the AC and we're going to close this door up because it's uh, getting warm in here now.
Okay, now I'm gonna get started with the shampooing. I'm gonna start over in this one corner here and uh, work my way over to the left hand side of the room. Now over the years, I've heard so many people say, oh, those do-it-yourself at home steam cleaners don't work. You gotta hire the professionals. And you know, I can agree with that. You know, every, you know, five, 10 years, maybe you do need to have the professionals come in. But the biggest deal is the person running the at-home shampooer. They're moving too fast. You need to have a lot of patience. Um, when you're doing your shampooing at home. Sometimes even going this way and then doing the second time this way. Cross patterns. You just have to do it with these at home machines. But as you can see, it works. And my mother keeps a clean house. She's no slouch. She never has been. But carpets just get dirty, people. So let's go ahead and Get this dumped out. Yeah, it definitely works. You just take this whole thing right off. That makes it even easier to rinse out uh, the collection tray. Now no sand's caught in the bottom. And clean off this filter every time too. Okay, back to work. Now the first time I showed you 
me emptying it in the bathroom, it was uh, like where the couch sits and the table and just a little bit where some traffic's at. This was a high traffic area, right, where you come um, from the kitchen and straight all the way through the living room and into my mom and dad's bedroom. Now this is uh, really proof that this stuff works. Look at that, it looks like the brown chocolate milk you ever did see. And now you see what I mean when I say dirt. It'll, this is after vacuuming the floor thoroughly. Even slower, a snail's pace. This is how fast I've been going during the whole time lapse. Hold the button down and go this slow. We got the whole living room done um, I did another little pass uh, against the grain here because I thought I seen a little bit of uh, discoloration and now that I made another pass because I had went back and forth this way 
and that one spot I went ahead and went back and forth this way and now I don't see any uh, little discoloration. Well, it's kind of hard because um, there isn't any ceiling lights in this room. It's only lit by lamps. So there's some dark corners. Um, that corner's had a couch in it always. Love seat. This corner from here, this wall from here, uh, about down to here, always has the big couch with an ottoman on it. And uh, my dad's chair sits there. So there's not gonna be too much stuff right there. Maybe where, the, where your feet would sit on the couch, like right here. That's why I probably had a little bit of discoloration right there because my mom sits right there all the time and my dad will sit in his chair. So her feet are always planted there. More traffic, more, you know, maybe a spill or, or whatever. So that's probably why I've seen that there. But yeah, up against there, I don't think there's any worries. But I'm just worried that I'm missing something out here and we won't see it until it's dry. So I'm really uh, going over it with a fine tooth comb. Now there was all, there was probably 20 different spots up in this area. Boom, 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 all over. Um, before I started, you could come in from the kitchen and just look down this way and you could see them all. Um, they were atrocious, but if you knew what you were looking for, you could definitely see them. And that's what I'm worried about, some of those popping back up. I want mom to come home from her week's vacation. You know, because sometimes when you get home from a week's vacation, you need like a vacation from your vacation. You know, <laughs> you're ready to be home and to sit down and relax. Well, I want her to be able to come home, smell that beautiful clean smell in the air. You know what smell I'm talking about that. I don't want to say chemically, but maybe soapy, bleachy type of smell. That clean smell. I want her to be able to smell that and know her floors are clean and she's going to be really happy and she's just going to be just be so happy. That's all I can say. So yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of aiming for. That's why I'm going over it with a fine tooth comb for my mom. Now over here, I uh, I doubt there's even any stains over here. Uh, this room never gets used unless, uh, you know, like right now I'm watching the house so I actually stay in this guest bedroom, but it rarely gets used. It's probably the least amount traveled carpet right there in the whole living room. All right, guys, I don't think I see any bad spots or anything. We'll let her dry a little bit more and then uh, I'll take a look at it again then and we'll if I have to, I'll make a couple passes just in that specific area where I, if I see some stains, I'll just clean up in that specific area. But I think I got pretty much all of it. It, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, now this was a brand new, um, this was a brand new machine right fresh out of the box. I opened it. Um, it was my Aunt Judy's. Thank you, Aunt Judy, for letting me use your brand new machine and the detergent for it to do my mom's uh, carpet for her. Thank you very much. My Aunt Judy is, she's awesome. So she, she would do uh, anything for uh, any of us, any, any family member she would do anything for. Okay, so what this one is, it's Hoover Power Scrub Elite. Now one thing I did notice on this machine was it has a deep clean mode for like if you're doing the whole carpet and a quick clean mode for like if you're just uh you know you got a spill you're trying to clean up before it stains then up here you got wash and then you got rinse say um you just get done cleaning your floor and you wanted to rinse the floor as well you flip it over to rinse and nothing will come out of your detergent reservoir it'll just come out of here and it's supposed to take up any residual uh, soap that may be left over or whatever. Now I kind of uh, think I don't need to use the rinse feature, but it's neat that it has it. 
Um, one thing to look for when you're looking for a carpet cleaning machine is make sure it has a heated function because otherwise the only heat you're getting is the temperature of the water when you put it in from the faucet and that's fine but like say you work for 10 minutes and then you stop for 20 take a break and you come back if that thing is not a heated unit the water is lukewarm or cold when you start to make your next few rows of passes on the carpet so it's not going to work near as well um, another thing to look for is to make sure your unit has scrub bristles um, they have some of them that they have some of them that will just spray and then suck up the uh, liquid and they don't actually you know scrub it in and those don't work near as well they kind of just get the top layer pretty much um, this one also has cleaning tools but this thing, I give this thing a solid uh, eight, no, nine out of ten. I think this is a pretty good, pretty good machine. It's not overly consuming on the soap and water. Some of them you, you gotta em, uh, fill them and empty the water every three or four swipes. You know, I was getting 20% of the room done each time. It's not very heavy, simple to use. You do have to assemble a few things, but it's very simple. You put this handle on, two bolts, and then snap the tanks on. That's all I had to do. Very simple. So you need a Phillips screwdriver, that's it. Um, but yeah, very, very easy. Okay, now we just gotta wait. Let that fan do its work and uh, dry this place up. Mister? Who is it? Okay, we gotta hide this camera. Spots. 
go in with a job freaking taking all the stuff out of here, though. We'll see if Dad notices. Is that one here? Yeah, I know. Oh, oh the trailer? Okay. Shampoo and carpet? Yeah. It's all mine. There's only two things. Either shampoo and the carpet or the truck. So look at it. Well, notice right away all the spots are gone. Yeah. Well, I figured that's what you did. You shampooed it with the Mars. No, I went and got the Judy's. Oh. Yeah, it's all. It was a bitch taking everything out of the room. Though. Yeah, it seems heavy. That's the only thing I didn't move. Boy, that's the one bitch. thing that stayed. That thing is heavy. Yeah, everything else I put in your room. What? Yeah, I took it all out. Well, I'm on vacation again, huh? <laughs> You're going on vacation again on this bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to take my shoes off. I'll carpet, don't I? <laughs> I have it all. Yeah, I didn't. See? No, I didn't when I first walked in either. Well, guys, my mom and dad were very happy with the carpet job. I uh, hope you liked the video. I'm Jackson Smike from my RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.